Air Properties, Composition and Pollution Air Air is a mixture of many gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, argon, hydrogen, ozone, etc. It has about 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. The remaining 1% is the mixture of carbon dioxide, water vapor, argon, helium, dust particles, etc. whose proportion may vary according to weather and environmental conditions. Out of all these gases, oxygen is the most important as it is required by all living beings for breathing. Oxygen is also needed for burning. Next comes carbon dioxide. Though there is only 0.03% of carbon dioxide in air, it is the gas that helps plants to make their food by the process of photosynthesis. Living things cannot directly use the nitrogen present in the air. Plants absorb nitrogen brought by certain bacteria in the soil. And when animals and humans eat plants or plant-eating animals, they get the required nitrogen. Neon is a gas used in electric signboards. It has a bright orange glow. Argon is used in glass tubes to produce a colored glow. Humidity Water vapor is always present in the air. This comes from the water bodies like seas, lakes and rivers where evaporation takes place at the surface. Water vapor is responsible for the changes in weather. It can bring rain, clouds, fog, snow or hail. On some days we feel sticky and our sweat is not able to dry. On such days there is more water vapor in the air which prevents our sweat from evaporating. We say the humidity is high. Humidity can be defined as the amount of water vapor present in the air. Properties of air Air occupies space. We know that air is everywhere around us, even though we do not see it. You can easily prove that air occupies space. Pour some water in a deep tray. Take an empty glass. Now, hold the glass upside down in such a way that its rim touches the water. Push the glass slowly into water without tilting it. You will see that water does not enter the glass. Why? This happens because air present in the glass is unable to come out. So, water cannot enter the glass. Now, tilt the glass slowly in the water as shown here. What do you see? You will see bubbles of air start coming out of the glass and water starts entering the glass. Why? This happens because air comes out from the glass in the form of bubbles and allows water to enter the glass. This clearly shows that air occupies space. Air has weight. To prove that air has weight, take two empty cycle tubes. Now, fill air in one tube and experience the weight of both the tubes. You will feel that the tube containing air is heavier. You can try another experiment. Blow two balloons of the same size. Tie one balloon at each end of a stick. Now, tie the stick with the string at its center. As shown here, balance the stick by shifting the position of the balloons. As you hold the stick up by the string at its center, you will see the stick remain straight. Now, prick one balloon with a needle to burst it. What happens? You will see the end with burst balloon goes up. Why? This happens because the burst balloon has no air in it. So it becomes lighter. This shows that air has weight. Air is required for burning. Burning needs air. In the absence of air, burning cannot take place. To prove this, take two candles and light them. Cover one of them with a glass as shown here.
What do you see? Within a few seconds, the candle goes off. Why? This happens because the covered candle did not get air for burning. This shows that air is essential for burning. Air exerts pressure. To prove that air exerts pressure, take a glass full of water up to the brim. Now, cover the glass with a thin, smooth piece of cardboard in such a way that there exists no air in between the water and cardboard. Hold the cardboard with one hand and turn the glass upside down as shown here. Remove your hand from the cardboard. Does the water or cardboard fall down? No. Why? Actually, air exerts pressure on the cardboard to keep it fixed in its place. This shows that air exerts pressure. Air expands on heating. Air is a mixture of gases and the molecules of gases are very loosely packed. This is the reason that gases expand when heated and become less dense. You will need a balloon and a plastic soft drink bottle. You will also need two containers, one filled with hot tap water and other with ice and cold water. Place the balloon over the mouth of the empty plastic bottle. Stand the bottle in the center of the container filled with hot water. Wait a few minutes and notice the balloon start to inflate and expand. Remove the bottle from the hot water and place it in the container with cold water and ice. Wait a few moments and notice that the balloon starts to deflate and contract. When the air inside the plastic bottle is warmed, it expands. In icy cold water, the air is cooled. It contracts and needs less space, so the balloon deflates. This shows that the warm air requires more space and is less dense than cool air. Air is needed for breathing. The oxygen in the air is used by all land animals and humans to breathe and stay alive. Carbon dioxide is given out during breathing. You can show this by keeping some insects like cockroaches in a closed conical flask with a test tube containing some potassium hydroxide to absorb the carbon dioxide given out. Connect this flask with a tube passing through colored water. After two days, you will notice that the colored water in the air supply tube begins to rise. Why? The cockroaches in the flask use oxygen of the air while breathing and the air from the supply tube is pulled into the flask making the colored water column rise in the tube. Uses of air pressure in our daily life we know that air has pressure. When we go high up into the atmosphere, the pressure of air is used in our life in many ways. It is used in a doctor's syringe for filling ink in a pen, pumping air into a tube and using straw to drink cold drink. It works in our body also. Breathing controls the balance of air pressure. It balances the air pressure inside and outside of our body. Air pollution. We know that apart from useful gases, air also contains dust, smoke and some harmful gases. These things pollute the air. Smoke and some harmful gases that come out from vehicles and factories make the air polluted. These harmful impurities in air are called pollutants. Polluted air is harmful for breathing. It can make us sick. Measures to prevent air pollution. We can do certain things to control air pollution. 1. We must discourage deforestation and should plant more trees because trees clean the air and give us oxygen to breathe in. 2. We should use public transport, walk, or use a cycle 
to travel short distances. 3. In industries, there should be the arrangement for pollution control. Know this. Inhaling polluted air takes away at least one to two years of a typical human life.